Your soul knew this soul and your soul yearned for this soul and this soul has not had the realization of their spirituality yet and their soul didn't recognize your soul but in a way it did because now they're coming back because now their soul yearns for your soul that's the high priestess right there hey uh, Pisces what's going on it's Dana the gypsy psychic Woo we're gonna do a reading for Pisces we are gonna do a reading for Pisces how have y'all been I've been doing well I've been doing well busy 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 I got a horse a couple of months ago like back in February I guess and uh, man whoo she keeps me busy <laughs> It'd be, it'd be different if I kept her at my house, right? But I board her, so I have to drive to her and drive home, and it's gotta be like a big plan kind of thing, so. But I'm looking to remedy that whole situation. I am, I am. I love where I keep her, but um, I really want her in my backyard, so I'm trying to work that out, right on. All right, you guys, well, we're gonna do a reading for the sign of Pisces because I just feel the need to read, so I am. So I am. All right, it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. We're going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story, okay? I'm going to confuse the heck out of you while I'm doing that, but when I go back up to the top and read it full, it's going to be worth it, okay? So just bear with me. Buckle up. Sit down, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke, put your feet up, snuggle up, and let's throw down some tarot cards for Pisces, okay? Spirit, Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me. And Pisces wants to know what you know. Spirit, what do you know about Pisces? And what does Pisces need to know about themselves? What's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? The coming situations and circumstances of their lives. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain as well. You ready? I'm going to cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. All right, you ready? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the Prince of Wands in reverse. All right, first card out. Judgment in reverse. Ignoring the call, dead, bad, dead decisions. No, bad decisions, um, deciding to not decide. The six of swords in reverse, talking to us about being stuck, lots of water under the bridge, lots of baggage. The star, hope, faith, renewal, crystallization, realization, universal intelligence, Aquarius. Love Aquariuses. I love you guys. Okay. The three of wands, um, foresight. Why do I have this? Why am I confined here? Can you guys see this? Yeah. These guys need to go. Hold on. There we go. I need some room to spread out here. All right. Two of wands. The future, three of wands, foresight, preparation, two of wands, the future. Strength in reverse, feeling weak, um, self-doubt. The queen of wands, we'll see what that is. The lovers in the center of the spread, a significant relationship, a significant choice, a significant alignment, okay? To the king of swords, some kind of decision, some kind of truth. Um, responsibility sometimes, the Eight of Wands in reverse, holding off, 
um, not taking action, no communication maybe. The Nine of Cups in reverse, emotional dissatisfaction. The Two of Cups in reverse, a misalignment between two people. The Seven of Wands in reverse, overwhelmed, self-protective. The Ace of Wands, inspired new beginnings. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, negotiating some kind of situation, negotiating a situation. To the wheel in reverse, a blockage, bad karma sometimes. The Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions. The High Priestess in reverse, ignoring your intuition, something that you're not acknowledging or something's being withheld from you. To the Queen of Cups, your feelings, the Four of Wands, harmony, long-term harmony. The Queen of Swords, some kind of decision, but you are conflicted about that. Okay, now we're gonna start repeating in a second. So the Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success, but you need to have a need for self-protection right there. Fool in reverse, foolish, all tied up in your head. Uh, open to change though, open to change. The magician, a little bit of manifestation so you can move on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. There's the communication. And then we start again. The nine of wands, the tower in reverse, the prince of pentacles, the prince of swords, king of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I get it. I get the drift. I get the story. All right. Let's do this. Some things that you should know about me before we get started here is that I am often inappropriate and I probably, if I haven't already, swear. So if that bothers you, you should probably go home about now. Um, I smoke my vape. Sometimes I smoke it on camera. And if you're not cool with that, you can probably go home now. What else? Um, hmm. Not your average YouTube tarot card reader because I'm here to tell you that you can watch YouTube tarot card readings till you're blue in the face and you will not get the wisdom, the guidance, and the understanding that you are seeking until you have your own cards read. Whether it's me or anybody else, I don't care. But if you need wisdom, guidance, and understanding about anything that you see, in any tarot card reading, you should have your own cards read. Do not ever make a life-altering decision based on some general tarot card reading, okay? All right, that being said, take this all with a grain of salt because it's just for shits and giggles, okay? All right, so judgment in reverse. Bad decision, deciding to not decide. What's this about right here? Bad decision, deciding to not decide. Too much water under the bridge. What's judgment in reverse about? Ignoring the call? What's judgment in reverse about, Spirit? What's judgment in reverse about? The Queen of Swords. Coming to terms with something. The King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So coming to terms with something or some truth, some communication, logic, reasoning, intellect, a perspective perhaps, to the King of Pentacles in reverse, to the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And in the upright, my God, <laughs> in the upright. Okay, so to the Queen of Cups in reverse, to the Six of Swords in reverse, right? That's the story. That's why there's water under the bridge. That's why there's baggage is because feelings got hurt. Understood. To the star, renewal, hope, faith, ten of swords in reverse, renewal of something that was painfully gone. The three of wands, foresight, the future, looking into the future, waiting, the two of wands, the future, where do I go? The Three of Wands in reverse. Three of Wands in reverse talks about a lack of foresight obstacles to the long-term goals. Let's see, obstacles to the long-term goals. The Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficiency, independence. I see what's happening. To the Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair. The High Priestess to the Hierophant in reverse. All right, okay. Yeah, you done let some, you done, you, you done let someone go. Like, go, go. Like, bye, see ya. I don't want to be with ya. Kind of go. All right. The strength in reverse. Okay, so... So... Oh, my God. 
Oh my God, I was just thinking in my head, I was just going to say, why is all of this happening right here? And that page of swords flipped right out because there's incoming communication. Okay, thank you. So thank you. So spirit, I'm sorry, spirit in reverse, strength in reverse. This is self-doubt um, or doubt or feeling weak, not, not, not strong in a situation, right? Not strong. Tell me, tell me to the Ten of Wands, right? You're struggling with this communication that's coming into you. To the Queen of Wands, who is she? Now, is this Pisces in her power right here? Is this Pisces bossing up in the situation? Let's see. There's another one. Oh, look at that. So the Five of Swords, right? Uh, conflict. This is somebody, the Five of Swords guy is just somebody being a, an asshole because they can be. Um, to the Three of Swords. Um, and it caused a great deal of grief. To the Six of Wands in reverse. And it hits you in your ego hard. Okay. The Lovers in the center of the reading to the Chariot though, right? Wow. Wow. Lovers to the Chariot. So is this Lovers to the Chariot Pisces or is this Lovers to the Chariot? Look at this. If it was Lovers to the Chariot, is it um, this person coming towards Pisces? I'm not keeping these on the on the table because I don't I don't need them. I already understand what's happening, right? Because Pisces is um, 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 stubborn or apathetic. Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? God, I can't articulate it. Uh, anyway, Pisces is apathetic, okay? The King of Wands in reverse, because in the past, this situation has been, um, self-centered and egocentric. Okay, so that is Pisces, so temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse, yeah, imbalanced. A soul, some kind of soul thing, though, that's for sure. So, Spirit, I want to know here, um, well, maybe I'll figure it out later on. Okay. Um, the King of Swords. So, something is spoken, there's some kind of responsibility taken, or some kind of decision made to the two of pentacles that balances out this situation right yeah eight of wands in reverse and holding off not taking any action and also it's probably been a long time since you communicated to the four of swords right this is you taking a step back and resting for a second getting your getting your wits about you in the four of swords um position and notice that he's grateful so this is something that that you're pleased about but you just need to take a step back and get your breath and 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 plan what your next move is going to be right so you're going to hold off um, to the Nine of Cups in reverse. What is this about? To the Two of Cups in reverse. So emotional dissatisfaction. So this, you were hurt in the past by this. The Two of Cups in reverse. There was some kind of breakup. Yeah, look, the Nine of Swords. Anxiety, despair. Look at this. Um, overwhelmed, self-protection. Page of Pentacles. Now there's a new manifestation. And you gotta, you gotta think about it because it's gonna affect your future somehow, some way. Uh huh. Ace of Wands, an inspired, passionate new beginning. The Knight of Wands, information coming into you. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration. That's what this person wants from you. To the Six of Swords. Um, um, uh, okay, I'm going to go back and read it from the top. I just get going like that, like crazy, okay? Okay. Blockage, Seven of Cups, High Priestess in Reverse. Blockage, Seven of Cups, High Priestess in Reverse, the Emperor to the Two of Cups. Wow. 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 All right, Pisces. Are you ready for this? This is what's shaking down right here. Okay. So judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse is about ignoring the call. Okay. Queen of swords. Because you were super blocked and super walled off 
from what's about to unfold here, okay? So you have been ignoring a call that's been blocked, it's been out. The King of Pentacles in reverse talking about two things. It talks about you locking down and taking complete and utter control of this situation, but in a negative kind of way, right? Um, because this person affected your very sense of well-being and security somehow some way and the king of pentacles in reverse also says that this person could have held title in your life at one point okay to the wheel of fortune and now there is a massive turning point happening here a massive turning point so you've had this person or this situation blocked 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 don't want nothing to do with it it's not logical it's not reasonable i cannot continue in this space anymore i am ignoring the call to reach out to you i'm ignoring the call at all costs i am not engaging in this and there is a turning point okay there's a turning point this Wheel of Fortune also tells me that you have taken a turning point because you have closed this down all the way. Done deal. The Six of Swords in reverse. Um, there's too much water under the bridge, right? There's just too much water under the bridge. There's, there's, you, uh, to the Queen of Cups in reverse. Hurt feelings, um, real hurt feelings, real hurt feelings to the star. See, we have three soulmate cards right here as well, right? The Wheel of Fortune, which is divine orchestration. To the Queen of Cups, she is, um, to me, in my own personal world here, the Queen of Cups is always a soulmate, motherly kind of love. And the King of Cups is always, to me, a soulmate, fatherly kind of love. It's not motherly, fatherly, okay? It's family. It's like agape love, right? Um, um, anyway, and then we have the star, which is um, about crystallization. The card is about a universal intelligence, connection to the universal intelligence, right? And it's, it's knowing that there's always hope and that you can always be renewed. No matter how many times you fuck up, you can always reinvent yourself. I feel that that is part of the star energy. And with these three cards here being, to me, soulmate cards, and then we have the Hierophant over here, I think there is some kind of soul contractor, at least soulmate knowing of one another. And in this lifetime, it just happens to be in this particular situation, okay? Okay, all of that being said, there is renewal, 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 renewal of what was dead and gone. Remember over here, you closed it out. You have your own turning point in life. And now there's a potential turning point in this situation or relationship, right? Um, and renewal with the star card. Um, purpose with the star card and renewal with the ten of swords in reverse right to the three of wands this three of wands is about um, having some foresight it's about preparation it's about waiting to make it happen to the two of wands the future and what this talks about right here it goes right back to here you closed this out you are looking in the future you're looking at your ships coming in you're making shit happen for yourself and you are not even attached to this thing anymore right? The two of wands, you're, you're creating a future for yourself. You're living life, Pisces. Three of wands in reverse. And now this whole thing comes up and it could very well be obstacles to your long-term goals, right? And this card also says you didn't see this coming. It came out of nowhere. You didn't see it coming. But for the most part, it is obstacles to your long-term goals because it's clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. Number one, you brought the whole thing to a culmination already. It is done and over with as far as you're concerned, and you have so moved on. This is also independency and self-sufficiency and being single and, and doing good, right? To the Five of Cups, you have moved on, you have brought a culmination to the grief and the sorrow that happened back here in the hurt feelings and the baggage of the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. To the High Priestess, you came to terms with it in your soul, and this is yet another soulmate card, okay? You came to terms with it in your soul. 
because your soul knew this soul and it just so happened well let's just leave it at that okay your soul knew this soul and your soul yearned for this soul and this soul has not had the realization of their spirituality yet and their soul didn't recognize your soul but in a way it did because now they're coming back because now their soul yearns for your soul that's the high priestess right there to the hierophant in reverse which causes a complete and utter reevaluation of your belief system that's why it might be obstacles to your long-term goals because you might have to change some shit around if you want to work this out with this situation the hierophant in reverse is also about stepping out of your spiritual growth. It's about the cutting loose of any kind of commitment. But I think it's mostly the reevaluation of a belief system. I really do. Because this person has reevaluated their belief system and they're coming towards you, and now you have to reevaluate your belief system. And by belief system, do I mean what religion you are? No, maybe. I mean, maybe, you know, you're Catholic and he's a Jew, right? But no, it's not about your religion. It's about everything that makes your life good and right and proper. It's about the root of the foundation that you build your life on, that is going to have to be reevaluated because of the Page of Swords, because there is a, some communication that's coming into you. The Page of Swords could be digital communication, but this can also be just very straightforward communication. Because, you know, when you're texting, hopefully you don't write big, huge, long stories because it drives us people who can't stand that crazy. Um, bullet point it for me, please. <laughs> but this could also be, um, when you're texting, right, digital, straightforward communication. You don't give all the details in a text message. So... It could be digital communication, but either way, it's short, direct, straightforward, pointed communication. Okay? All right. Strength in reverse. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right. I had to go turn my sauce down, my uh, spaghetti sauce. I can smell it cooking and cooking and cooking, and I got to go turn it down because it's distracting me. Okay. Strength in reverse. Um, feeling weak on the inside to the Ten of Wands, feeling burdened, struggling. You're struggling with this thing up here. You're struggling. Not only are you struggling with it now, but you struggled with it in the past as well. The Queen of Wands. See, this is the problem. This is the problem right here, is the Queen of Wands. This is two things, okay? This Queen of Wands represents you and you're bossing up and not taking any shit, right? Because if you were here, you would be the Queen of Cups, right? The Queen of Cups takes all kinds of shit because as the soulful Queen of Cups that she is, she understands where everybody's coming from. She can feel their, their journey, right? I mean, that's the Pisces thing. She can feel their, then the King of Cups too. She can feel their journey. And therefore, when people are shit people, the Pisces tends to have a tendency to understand and accept. And oftentimes that turns into pain, right? So, the Queen of Wands is who Pisces is being here. The Queen of Wands doesn't take any shit at all. Not at all. As a matter of fact, she gives shit back. Okay? So this is the morphing of Pisces through this situation. In the past, you were all Queen of Cups in reverse, right? Oh, my heart. Right? And now when this comes back around... It's such a huge thing because it comes out of nowhere that Pisces is bossing up as the Queen of Wands and saying, hold up just a second, sis. 
or bro. Hold up just a second. We got some things we need to talk about. What we need to talk about is the Five of Swords, all of your fuckery. How could you have done that to me? To the Three of Swords, it caused me a lot of grief and a lot of sorrow and a lot of pain. To the Six of Wands in reverse, and it stung my ego like a hornet. Okay? Or this Queen of Wands is another woman. If there's another woman that was involved in the situation, that's the culprit. Two, how could you have done that to me with the Five of Swords? Break my heart like that with the Three of Swords and the Six of Wands in reverse being the wounding that happens to the ego when someone cheats on someone else. And I say she because it is a feminine energy and it is the Queen of Wands, but it could be a male as well. I mean, it totally could be. Okay. All right. All right. Lovers in the center of the spread. This lovers is about the soulmate love contract of this relationship that you have with this person. I mean, it is locked down soulmate. You guys have been together before. And you will be together again. And perhaps in this lifetime, it just happens to be maybe a romantic situation for you. Doesn't have to be. But we do have straight up lovers in the center of the spread. To the chariot. The vehicle, the metaphorical vehicle that is going to take you to the next leg of your journey. To the Four of Cups in reverse. But you are against it. You're against it. You're, in your feelings, it's just apathy, right? It's just like, no, I, I don't know about this. Because in the past, you were an egocentric, self-centered bitch or bastard. To Temperance in reverse. And I'm still wounded from it. I'm doing good. I left you behind. I cut this shit out of my life. I pulled myself together and I marched forward knowing because I'm Pisces that this just wasn't going to happen. But I'm still wounded. I still carry a scar on my heart because of you. To the King of Swords. There's truth that's spoken. Big truth. Big truth, big truth is spoken to the Two of Pentacles that balances out the whole situation and helps you to prioritize things in your withdrawal of strength in reverse, right? To the Four of Swords, while you contemplate and think and get your shit together, right? You're taking, this is Pisces, taking a knee for a minute and just catching their breath and figuring some things out to the, if you want to re-engage in this or not, right? To the Nine of Cups in reverse. And all you're doing in this setback, getting yourself together situation is remembering the emotional discomfort of a, of, of the breakup or the, the, imbalance between you, the nine of swords, all of the anxiety and the despair, the, this is what caused the scar on the heart, right? Seven of wands in reverse. Ever since then, you've been kind of closed down, maybe fighting everybody off and just, just don't want to, just don't, just don't want to, just don't want to. I just don't want to. My heart is still healing. I'm doing good. I'm moving forward. And I have no place for love in my heart. Some of you. Some of you, the Seven of Wands in reverse is about defending yourself and protecting yourself from this person. To the Page of Pentacles, Manifestation, and the Two of Wands. That's what this whole thing is about. That's what you're taking a step back about. This person wants to manifest a future with you. And I don't see how this could be career. I don't see how this could be anything besides a soulmate love. And it does not have to be romantic.
okay? This person did you wrong in the past. You shut it down. Now they're back and you're completely turned upside down about the whole thing. Seven of Wands in reverse again, right? Self-protection. To the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands talks about inspired, passionate new beginnings. To the Knight of Wands. Inspired action being taken to the Three of Pentacles to have teamwork and collaboration. To the Six of Swords and death in reverse. Six of Swords is talking about um, a transition, a, a transition out of the bad place into a good place with teamwork and collaboration. And death in reverse talks about a personal transformation of this person, of the situation, possibly of you, possibly of you. Let's see where we're going to cut these at. Right there. Okay. So the wheel in reverse, a blockage to the seven of cups, options, choices, decisions, the high priestess in reverse, ignoring your intuition, something that you can't make sense of inside of you, your card to the queen of cups, your card, feelings, love, that soulmate love, the four of wands, some people say that's soulmate shit too, stuff too. To the Queen of Swords. Logic, reasoning, decision. So what's happening here? Oh, I forgot these two. The Emperor to the Two of Cups, no less. Okay? So what's happening here is the transition of Pisces. This personal transformation where there was a blockage before, right? Remember, you block them. Now there's a turning point. Seven of Cups talks about um, being overwhelmed with options, choices, and decisions. The High Priestess in reverse is about not being able to feel yourself. Um, why? Because the Queen of Cups, because you have so much love for this person that you know as the Queen of Cups that your intuition is clouded because you do have so much feelings and love for this person. Okay? The Four of Wands, all you can think about is this, the harmony that this would bring into your life. The Queen of Swords comes in and says, all right, Pisces, let's look at this logically. Let's slice and dice this situation with logic and reasoning. Five of Wands, conflicted, your, your conflict. To the Six of Wands, victory, progress, and success, right? What do you want here, Pisces? Well, you want victory, progress, and success. I mean, this is the King Queen of Swords speaking, right? What do you want? You got all kinds of conflict. What do you want? Pisces says, I want victory in the situation. And it would be a nice little stroke to the ego as well. The four of pentacles in reverse, but I also want to protect myself. The fool comes in and says, you are foolish, foolish, naive. Eight of swords to be all stuck up in your head like this. The Five of Swords in reverse. Be open to change. Let the resentment go and be open to change and manifest this opportunity to the Five of Cups in reverse and move on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment to the Princess of Swords and answer the communication. Honestly, if you think about this, this whole reading right here could literally happen in a split second. This whole reading could happen in a split second of time. Or this could be drawn out over big, long, you know, weeks at a time. But if you think about it, all of this are the emotional functions, the emotional processes, the intellectual processes, the, the processes that one goes through. When you get a text message, all of this could be happening because of one little text message with the Page of Swords that says, hey, I want to talk to you. And then all of this happens in that split second. And then the return message, where to go? And then the return message, what's up? And that's the whole thing. Is that crazy? Is that insane to think about? But it's super cool too, right? 
So yeah, there's communication coming to you, Pisces, that's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind. And these cards say that it, it would be worth taking a look at. Really, for real. It would be worth taking a look at. For real. And you know what? Honestly, this could be uh, new love too. It could be. It could be new love. It really could be. It could be new love. And this negativity right here with the Six of Swords in reverse, um, too much baggage, Queen of Cups in reverse because your heart was broken, right? To the Ten of Swords in reverse and um, um, you have a fear of ruin, right? You're just not going to engage. And that could be that negativity, right? And the self-doubt down here with Strength in reverse could be... Um, you doubting that you could ever be in another relationship and have been struggled have been struggling with that for a long time. So that could be that as well. Just saying, just saying. Look at what I just did in my hair, you go. Okay, that was it, Pisces. I do hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.